Hello everyone. We are going to study about surface area and volume. But in this session, we are only going to discuss about surface area. Before going into details, let us see what is surface. Now suppose we have a cupboard and we want to paint this cupboard from outside. So total portion of this cupboard which we can paint from outside is surface of this cupboard. In the example of this cupboard, we can see that we have painted this cupboard from six sides: front and back, top of this cupboard and bottom, left side and right side. Here we can see that there are total six faces which we have painted from outside, and all these faces of this cupboard is called surface of this cupboard. So, what do we call a surface? The uppermost or exposed portion of any object. And what do we call a surface area? The area occupied by that surface. Friends, we are actually surrounded by these objects only, like bucket, TV, gas cylinder. So, in this session, we will discuss. how to find out total surface area of some important objects let us start with the cube first of all we will see what shape do we call a cube as we all know the area of a square with side l is l square now suppose we want to make a box using such square sheets who is having area of l square this is our base which is having four sides and we are going to create wall on these four sides as we have already created a wall so let us draw the next one This is my second wall. This would be third wall and the front would be the fourth wall. And the top surface would be the last surface of this box. So in this shape of a cube, we can see that there are total six surfaces. And all these surfaces having same area, L square, top and bottom and four walls. We have seen that we have used six surfaces of having same area, L square. So total area would be L square plus L square Six times, and we would get six L square. So six L square would be the total surface area of this cube having length as L, where L can be any number. So shape of a cube is this, and we have got the formula for total surface area of a cube. So let us consider a real life example. In dice, we can see that total six surfaces. All the surfaces are having same area, and all the surfaces are in the shape of a square. Let us solve a problem based on this formula. Suppose we are asked to find out the total surface area of a cube having length as 5 cm. So by using the formula for surface area 6l square we would get 150 cm square. So we have got the total surface area of a cube having length as 5 cm. Our second shape for this session is a cuboid. First of all we will see what is the difference between cube and cuboid. Cube is a shape having six surfaces. All the surfaces of a cube are square shaped. While in cuboid, all the surfaces are rectangular, and only opposite surfaces are equal to each other. Suppose length of this cuboid as L, breadth as B, and height as H. Let us find surface area of top surface. We can see our top surface looks something like this. We can see that this shape is rectangular. having two sides l and b and as we all know the area of a rectangle with sides l and b is l into b since i am having two such surfaces top surface and bottom surface so i would add one lb more now we will find out surface area of front surface this surface is something like this having length l and breadth as h So area of this rectangle would be L into H. Since I'm having two such surfaces, front surface and back surface, so I would add one LH more to get the area of two such surfaces. Let us find the area of left surface. We can see that left surface is this, which is having side B and H. So what would be the area of this rectangle? B into H, right? And since I'm having two such surfaces, left surface and the right surface. so i would add bh here we can see that we have got the total surface area of this cuboid we have found out the surface area of top surface and bottom surface as lb plus lb area of front surface and back surface as lh plus lh and area of left surface and right surface as bh plus bh so our formula become lb plus lb 2lb lh plus lh 2lh and bh plus bh 2bh 
If we take 2 as a common factor, we can also write it as 2 into bracket LB plus BH plus LH. This is the total surface area of a cuboid having length L, B and H, where L, B and H can be any number. An eraser is the best example of a cuboid. Let us solve a problem based on this formula. Suppose I am having an eraser having length L as 2 cm, breadth as 3 cm and height as 4 cm. And what would be the total surface area of this eraser? 52 cm square. So we have got the total surface area of an eraser having length 2 cm, breadth 3 cm and height 4 cm. Our third and last shape of this session is a right circular cylinder. A right circular cylinder looks something like this. Suppose this cylinder is having height h and radius r. In right circular cylinder, top and bottom surface are in the shape of a circle. If we take out top and bottom surface of this cylinder, we would get two circles and our original cylinder would become a pipe which is open from top and bottom. So radius of these two circles would be R. And if we cut our cylinder to open it up, we would get a shape of a rectangle. And as we all know, the circumference of a circle with radius R is 2 pi R. So we would get the length of this rectangle as 2 pi R since this length is the circumference of this circle and breadth would be the height of the cylinder H. So finally we got a rectangle which is having length 2 pi R and breadth H. So we would find out the surface area of this rectangle and surface area of these two circles. Surface area of this rectangle would be 2 pi r h, multiplication of these two sides. And as we all know, the area of a circle with radius r is pi r square and I am having two such circles. So I can write pi r square plus pi r square. So our formula for total surface area of a cylinder would be 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. And if we take 2 pi r as a common factor, we would get 2 pi r into bracket r plus h, where r and h can be any numbers. A coating tin is the best example of a cylinder. Let us solve a problem based on this formula. Let us find out the total surface area of this tin having radius r is 4 cm and height 10 cm. So the total surface area of this tin would be 112 pi cm square. Let's have a recap of this session. First of all, we studied what is surface, then we studied what is surface area, then we defined three shapes, cube, cuboid and cylinder and we found out the total surface area of these three shapes respectively and we solved three problems based on these formulas. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share it with your friends and post your comments. You can watch the entire syllabus of CBSC Math on our YouTube channel. Do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching.